From fatigue and muscle aches to shortness of breath, long COVID symptoms can last months or even years after the initial infection. As the condition is still being studied by scientists all around the world, many patients have come to accept the realities of living with the symptoms. I am getting winded. Months after testing positive for COVID, Nancy Rose continued to feel unwell. The hardest part for me was the brain fog, the fatigue, and that uh, different parts of my body just ached. A survey conducted in the summer of 2022 found that more than 40% of adults in the United States reported having COVID in the past. You can breathe. And nearly one in five of those are currently still having symptoms of long COVID. Many long haulers find it hard to work or take care of themselves. If I'm going to get anything done, I have to get it done in the morning. That's my best time. By about 2 o'clock, I'm getting tired. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the Department of Health and Human Services, and the Department of Justice have all determined that long COVID is a disability. But experts say accessing disability benefits is exceedingly difficult, especially for those who got sick early in the pandemic because they were infected before tests were widely available. So they don't have proof of a past COVID infection. It's been two and a half years since Francis Rossi experienced the first in a string of strange symptoms. It began as a bad head cold. It was mainly just this, you know, real awful sinus. And then I completely lost the middle part of my voice. And that's never happened before. Rossi suspects she may have been infected on a light rail train. The cars are packed. I mean, you get on and you squeeze into the door and hope you can get in. Or perhaps it was one of the choirs that she directs. I started having the dizzy spells and the mental, you know, the, the fogginess. My heart would be pounding and I had blood pounding in my fingers and in my toes and um, just the odd symptoms that were really alarming. An antibody test several months later revealed she had COVID-19. And a Facebook support group made her realize she wasn't alone. The light went on finally and I thought, aha, other people are having the same thing. It's COVID that lasts. Rosie is enrolled in a study at the University of Colorado Hospital that aims to find out why some people in the population are more prone to getting long COVID than others. She will be studied for four years. I think it's very important that we come to understand this whole, this condition and, and to see the reality of it. At least maybe now we'll get some information that will show us what's going on. So the most common types of symptoms tend to be fatigue, uh, brain fog. A lot of people will complain about shortness of breath, you know, chest pain. There also can be GI problems, rashes. There's no medication yet that sort of attacks the root of the problem, that attacks the upstream uh, uh, start of the disease. 